Well, he's the go-to doctor responsible for the changing face of Hollywood's most photographed stars. From Kim and Khloe Kardashian to Lady Gaga, Dr Simon Orion has been credited with giving A-listers their perfect bodies and faces to match. And our very own entertainment reporter Catherine Eisman got a rare look inside his Beverly Hills practice. Catherine, hi. You had incredible access. That must have been quite an eye-opening experience for you. It was, not just because you could actually lift yeah, yeah. my eyelids, but yeah. <laughs> Absolutely fascinating to talk to the man who's responsible for the morphing of many of the most famous faces in the world, who shared some very specific details about exactly what he's done to his celebrity patients to make them look as good as they do. Ladies, tell them I walk up like this. I walk up like this. We're flawless. Kim, Kylie, Gaga, Iggy. They are the names that define pop culture. The modern day Helens of Troy. Their faces launching a thousand partnerships, endorsement deals and magazine covers. Self-made multi-million dollar empires built in part on hips, lips, flesh and flawless faces. And there's one doctor they entrust with their golden tickets. Beverly Hills cosmetic dermatologist, Dr. Simon Orion. Don't you want to shine? Not so long ago, it was impossible to get a celebrity to ever admit that they had any work done. What do you think is behind that enormous shift? Well, for one thing, um, most of what I do is non-surgical. So uh, there's a little bit, bit less of a stigma associated with that. And um, also, because now everybody does it, it's kind of almost dishonest to say you haven't done anything. Probably the family that's garnered the most attention is, of course, the Kardashian and Jenner family. What's it like working with people that are photographed so much, in particular them? Well, for one thing, I can't, I, I don't have any room for error. One, two, one, one, two, 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 two. Oh my God. One more. Ready for takeoff. <laughs> <Whoa>. Vacation. <laughs> Kim has just been photographed leaving your surgery here. Uh, people saying that she had a non-surgical tummy tuck. She's looking in incredible shape post baby too. She had to lose a lot of weight really rapidly. So, and because that, so of course, her abdomen, which was really stretched, had to go back and she had a lot of extra skin and she doesn't want to get surgeries. You guys are Dr. Orion's. Skin tightening. As you can see in, her, in the picture that she was showing, she's awake and she's talking about it as I do the procedure for her. How much is it each procedure? It could be anywhere from $5,000 to $10,000 by the fact that you don't have to go under an anesthesia, you, don't, you can go back to work. In fact, she did that and walked out of the office and went back into the gym the next day. While Kim's rapidly shrinking waist is dominating entertainment news, her little sister's expanding lips are gaining just as much attention. Kylie Jenner's lips have been probably talked about more than maybe the upcoming president. She had done some uh, enhancement on her lips, which uh, had left less than desirable results. They had lumps in them and they were kind of that ducky lip that she didn't want to have. Mm -hmm. So I worked with her to enhance her lips slowly and then get it to a size that was bigger and more enhanced without looking done. In fact, a huge percentage of Dr. Orion's work is correcting botched jobs. Now, Khloe Kardashian uh, has been very outspoken, saying that she's had work done before that they really did a terrible job, and she came to you to correct that. What happened there? Well, somebody had done a little bit of a filler for her. You just take a needle and just inject it. So <laughs> <laughs> how difficult can it be? Where you add them and how much you add them and, and in what proportion you add them obviously becomes very important. I'm at Dr. Orion's about to get some cool laser. Hello. I'm covered in goop. But it's going to be so worth it! What are the most requested celebrity features when clients come in here? Well, by far, number one is Kylie's lips. Everybody wants wow. to have Kylie's lips. And number two is the J-Lo's or Kim Kardashian's high cheekbones. And then buttocks, of course. Everybody's buttocks needs to be a little bit bigger, wider, upper, higher. Aussie's very own Iggy Azalea has the doc on speed dial too. She's Australian. Uh, we, Australian. We, have, we have an ozone hole, oh, so yes, we all so. have a lot of sun damage. She had bad skin to begin yeah. with, and she had it I mean, bad for her standard. She ended up with a glowing skin, really just like an ivory perfect skin. As does Hollywood glamour Lady Gaga.
She's a very mature, smart woman, and she wants, to, she wants her face and her image to portray that. And she was also doing the American uh, horror story, which mm -hmm. was a, which required a very specific type of uh, fa facial features as very well. Very strong, very high strong. cheekbones. So we kind of worked together to try to achieve that, that kind of look. The heart of his popularity is his approach. More sculptor than surgeon, not surprisingly, he's a doctor by vocation and a sculptor by avocation. I realized that my the aesthetic that I had, that I had learned in classic anatomy and classic art of beauty uh, involves certain criteria that if I followed them, almost mathematically, the results are going to be almost always the same. These equations that try to bring everything into a balance that overall becomes a little bit more pleasing. is reversible, is correctable, uh, and is temporary. While many of the treatments are groundbreaking, the fascination with beauty is not. From ancient Egypt to Leonardo da Vinci, for over 2,000 years, man has been attempting to reproduce an idealized version of beauty, not only in art, but in life. Of course, curiosity got the better of me. What might a perfected version of myself look like? Oh, the things you're going to do for us, Catherine. You're so dedicated uh, to the job. You're going to show us uh, your consultation coming up, yeah? I am. I, I asked the doctor, you know, what he would do to improve on perfection. Turns out quite a lot. Uh, he actually <laughs> took me through the paces and showed me all the little tweaks that he would do if I was a celebrity client of his uh, to just improve my symmetry, my balance, and basically make me look better in ways that, that you probably wouldn't detect straight away, but I'll actually look better uh, if I had these done. But anyway, it's fascinating and kind of terrifying. You don't want to miss it. Okay, that's right, coming up a little bit you. later in the show. Kyle, what are you good doing? News. I've got the doctor on an 11 p.m. flight tonight, <laughs> so he can be here with us tomorrow morning by about six if he clears customs all right I, thank you, Captain, love thank you. we only need him for 48 hours but we need him bad i love what he's doing his sculpting work is amazing oh, i know right but yeah. i gotta say yeah. i'm not a huge fan of kylie jenner's lips yeah well Each he actually own? fixed a yeah, he fixed what was worse and he said, okay. OK, she wants these really exaggerated lips. So he said that, well, if that's the look you want, I'll do it without it being lumpy or bumpy. And, and actually, a lot of people request that, which is kind of bizarre because they're very yeah. extreme. But, uh, yeah, yeah, at least he, he does it without, um, without the lumps and bumps. Yeah. Carly, I get up. Th thank you, Catherine. Thank We're going to talk to you soon. I get upset when you um, take the mickey out of the Kardashians. It upsets me and all the other devotees here in Australia. <laughs> all right? So just leave, just the mickey, back just, away from the be. lips and the bums and all the other stuff Kim that's going Kardashian on. Kim Kardashian skin, OMG. Oh, she like, has, you look like, at that, it's like porcelain. I know, right? It's like um, if you went to porcelain factory and you said, I want it's, the most expensive stuff you've got. It's it looks amazing. like Kim Kardashian's face. It is okay. amazing. Sorry, did you say you did have the number? Sorry, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs>